Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and today I will be teaching you how to automate the Atomic Reconstructor from the mod Actual Editions using an ME system from the mod Applied Energy 6 2. Uh, to build today's automation, I will need three mods, and those mods are Actual Editions, Applied Energy 6 2, and Ender.io. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to be placing down a vacuum chest from the mod Ender.io. Basically, it just vacuums up items in a surrounding area to it. But I can use this in a more ref refined way by using an item filter right here and selecting what items it can and cannot suck up. So right now I'm going to whitelist a few items that I know I will be making with my Atomic Reconstructor setup. And those are Palace Crystals, Restonia Crystals, and Soul Sand. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a weighted pressure plate on top of the vacuum chest. And the weighted pressure plate is something that we need over the regular pressure plate. And that's because we need items to be activating this weighted pressure plate. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an atomic reconstructor and it will be one block away. And what I need to do now is I need to take a redstone torch and I need to right click this so that the redstone mode is set to pulse. And that's because I do need a redstone pulse to actually activate this system. Next off, I'm going to put a, a little redstone right here. And then I am going to put a redstone comparator. And then I need to get some repeaters. And I need to put a repeater right here. And actually, I just need one of them for this right here. And we're going to set that up like so. So basically, when there's an item on here, it will pulse. And I do want that to pulse a little slower than that. It'll be more beneficial if it does pulse just a little bit slower. So if you'll notice, the Atomic Reconstructor is not doing anything, and that's because it needs energy. And today I'm going to be using a Vibrant Capacitor Bank from the Mod Ender IO to be powering it. And as we can see in the bottom left-hand corner, the Atomic Reconstructor now has power. So if we go ahead and throw some uh, redstone on here, it should go ahead and turn that into redstone crystal and then be sucked up by the vacuum chest. And then once that is all sucked up by the vacuum chest, this system will automatically stop. So that's fantastic. The next step I want to do is I want to set up an automatic precision dropper up here. And you can probably get away by... Uh, with using a regular dropper, but the precision dropper drops things straight down every single time and that's going to be pretty valuable for me today. So let's go ahead and set up the redstone circuitry for this guy and I will need to build something like this and then I will need a comparator or yeah, a comparator right here. I'm probably going to need a little bit more redstone uh, dust so let's grab some of that and my repeaters are going to be, let's see, um, right here, right here, and right here. And I actually want this one to tick rather quickly. So basically, any time that there's items in here, and I can just go ahead and throw, uh, let's go ahead and say most of my redstone, uh, it will drop them very, very quickly. And as we can see, it is dropping them directly on the pressure plate, which is fantastic. And as we can see, the system is turning the redstone dust into redstone crystals. So that's fantastic. The One of the last steps, or the second to last step rather, is getting the ME system to actually interact with this automatic precision dropper. And we can do that by using an ME interface. So basically, I just need to hook this ME interface up to my Applied Energy 6 ME system, which is over here, or at least part of it is. And so now I can actually interact with this precision dropper. So let's go ahead and set up a few recipes so that we can do that and then we can see that in action. So if we take a look at the atomic reconstructor, we can see that there are several things that we can make here. And some of the valuable ones are redstone to redstone crystals, lapis to palace crystals, and then there's one more that I'm really interested in, and that is nether quartz to prismarine shards. So right now I'm gonna set up two of the recipes we're going to do redstone dust to redstone crystals and set that pattern right there. And then sand to soul sand is the other pattern I want to set right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can place these patterns into the ME interface up here. And basically, I will be able to tell the system to start making things. So let's go ahead and do just a little bit of that right now. And let's tell it to make 10 soul sand. So as we can see, this system has started working, 
but there's one problem and that is i have nothing to get the items out of the vacuum chest and into the me system so that's actually pretty easily remedied if we just go ahead and set up an import bus on the bottom of the uh, vacuum chest right here we can remedy that and then obviously i need to hook that up to my me system as well but there's the import bus and I should be able to hook up to my ME system by just running a little line down here. So let's do that real fast. And if we go over here, we should see that once the Soul Sand starts importing, it will recognize it as having been crafted, and then this crafting will clear. Let's see if it is doing that just yet. Oh, it's importing the Restonia. Let's actually pull that out. And as we can see here, it is resolving the craft and that is fantastic so let's go ahead and do one last thing here uh, let's actually fill that hole real fast let's make some restoni crystals and let's actually it's not does not have a d in it uh, let's make 30 of those and let's watch this in action so as we can see here the emmy system is getting these and this is working out fantastic so that is how you automate the atomic reconstructor using an ME system from the mod Applied Energistics 2. If you feel like you learned something today, definitely feel free to leave a like down below. And if you like learning about automation type stuff in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and I will see you next time.